so in this video we are going to see a very big recruitment news that is the recruitment news from IB so actually there was a lot of confusion regarding whether the news is uh, right or whether it is fake so actually this news is real and the official link and the official notification has been published on the website so we are going to see all details regarding this recruitment news which is from IB okay so let us see the post details first so uh, the recruitment of IB is happening for Assistant Central Intelligence Officer Grade 2 that is ACIO is the recruitment or post and there is actually 2000 vacancies is there so this is a very big recruitment and the qualification they are asking is a graduation in any discipline. So if you have a graduation in any discipline please do watch this video till the end okay. So there is actually opening for a lot of people because all graduates are eligible okay. So let us see the post details that is ACIO that is Assistant Central Intelligence Officer Grade 2 and there is totally 2000 vacancies is there okay. Next talking about the pay scale it is very good or very large. So the pay level is 44,900 to 1,42,400 is a range of salary they are offering and the qualification which I have already mentioned that is graduation or equivalent from a recognized university. It can be anything, B, B, Tech, post graduation, anything, but you should be having a graduation. That is the qualification requirement. Next is the age limit. So the age limit is from 18 years to 27 years is the maximum age limit. And also there is age relaxation for SCST, for ex-service people, and also the people who are domicile of uh, Jammu Kashmir, just like any other government of India recruitment, there is age relaxations as per the rules. Okay, so that is the three major things we have discussed, the qualification, salary and the age limit. Next, next is the selection process. The selection process consists of three stages. There is tier 1 examination, there is tier 2 examination and there is tier 3 examination. We will be doing a separate video on the selection process in detail. But let us see about the brief of selection process. That is what are the three stages. Okay, tier 1 examination is consisting of five parts it is actually dealing with the generic areas like reasoning numerical ability english subject uh, all those areas and there is five areas that is general awareness quantity aptitude numerical and analytical reasoning then english language then general studies okay just like for any other examination there is a generic area which is having five sessions there will be 20 questions from each session so totally there will be five into 20 100 questions will be there the time allotted is one hour okay and about the marking scheme it is having one mark for correct answers and for wrong answer one by fourth of the mark will be deducted okay so that is the marking scheme and everything so that is the tier one examination and it will be an online examination only okay next tier two examination is a descriptive type of examination which will be having 50 marks 30 mark essay and 20 mark english comprehension okay so that is the tier 2 examination which is actually a descriptive type of examination the time allotted is one hour and the mark given is 50 mark is the mark given okay so that is this tier 2 or stage 2 then moving on to the stage 3 or tier 3 which is having a interview and the interview is given 100 marks okay so the, this 3 is the stages of selection okay so I really hope that you understood the stages of selection if you are interested in applying okay Next, also talking about the examination centers, if you see the notification, you can actually see a very large list which is uh, describing or uh, telling you the cities in which the examinations will be conducted. So if you see mostly for all major cities of India, there is examination centers. So if you apply, probably you will get a very near place to write the examination. Okay, So you can also see the uh, exam cities now on the street. Okay? So there is actually a lot of places. So, there is no problem in writing exam also, okay. Next is the application procedure, okay. So, for applying, you have to go to, you know that this is actually coming under Ministry of Human Affairs or MHA. So, the site or the website you have to follow for applying is www.mha.gov.in or you can go to this site www.ncs.gov.in and you have to apply online. There is actually various stages of application, step 1 registration, then step 2 completing of application form, all those things. Just like any other uh, examination, you have to first register yourself, 
then fill up your personal details mail id phone number everything after that you have to uh, go to the step 2 of registration where you have to uh, enter your details of uh, educational qualification your photo signature all those things you have to enter okay so just like any other normal uh, application for government organization you have to fill up an online form okay so that is the application procedure and also there is fees for applying okay so the fees is for the male candidates of general economically weaker sessions and obc there is a fees of 500 plus 100 which is 600 rupees is the fees for apply now for the scst candidates and the female candidates the fees is only 100 rupees okay so that is the fee details for the general uh, category economically weaker session and obc for the male candidates it is 600 rupees for the other candidates and female candidates the fees is only 100 rupees okay so talking about the uh, fees it is actually not too much uh, when comparing to the other government of uh, india organization recruitments and also the salary is very good and there is also 2000 vacancies okay so if you are, are having any graduation in any discipline so please do try your luck okay please do prepare for it and please do appear it so there is enough vacancies 2000 vacancies is there so you can always try okay so please see the notification in detail all details that is uh, qualification age limit everything see in detail if you think that you are eligible please apply for it as soon as possible okay anyway we'll be doing a separate video on the selection process marking scheme which all areas you have to prepare all those things but for this recruitment i'm thinking that you should always try your luck okay so if you found this video useful please do give it a thumbs up also share with your friends who's having any graduation in any discipline and if you want more videos Please do subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and keep on watching.